Hello, welcome to Little Mouse Advanced Weapon Tactics. Today we got the 13th century riding sword, and we're going to be testing the uh, sword's ability to be able to cut the shaft of a spear or an axe. Now, a lot of people in a lot of video games like to popularize that the sword can just go right through an axe or a spear shaft, just like it's nothing disabling your opponent. But we're here to see if that is a myth or if that is fact. So uh, today we got the 13th century riding sword from Medieval Shop. Thran has this. I haven't seen him test it yet, but I'm excited to see him test it. And we're going to go ahead and test it on this uh, piece of wood right here. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, um, but it is a little bit weaker than what uh, an actual spear would be made out of. Actual spears would be made out of probably ash and different types of wood depending on the area or the culture that they are from. But this would be much weaker than uh, an actual spear would be. So we're going to go ahead and test it with uh, this 13th century riding sword. Little Mal presents Advanced Weapon Tactics, the weapons review show that tests the lethality and destruction of various cultural artillery. Will this week's weapon be powerful enough to destroy our new main heads? Find out now. Do not try this at home. As you can see, this sword is quite large for me, but uh, we got it on this stand. This stand will not really hold it, but there's some give to it just like a real person would be as if they were holding a spear. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice chop and see what we can do to this. I don't know if you can see that very well. We'll try to get this to focus. But anyways, you got a nice chop into it, about a quarter of an inch, or about, yeah, maybe half a centimeter, quarter of an inch into the wood. This spear would definitely be functional. Um, but yeah, you're not seeing the cut clean through, and I don't think that's possible. I do believe that is a myth, and uh, you're just not gonna be able to cut through a spear. We'll go ahead and give it a couple of strikes. Obviously, someone who is a lot stronger than me would be able to do more damage. We can do a little bit more damage. I'm going ahead and using two hands. This will give me a little bit more leverage, and that way I can do a more powerful screwing. Uh, again, European swords aren't really, particularly in my background, but uh, I think this would be the most effective at doing what we're trying to test. Here is the wound. It's about the same as this. It didn't go all the way through. It went about a quarter of an inch, uh, about a half a centimeter again, and uh, about the same as this. And uh, I'm just not seeing you going through this. Obviously, some of the more power can get quite a bit deeper, but uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it. We're gonna go ahead and try an axe shaft and see if that will be possible. All right, so here we have a hammer shaft. Uh, it's about the same wood as a axe shaft would be, or a hatchet, so that way it'll be a similar test. Uh, I don't have an axe shaft that we can actually test on without ruining one of my good quality axes. So we're gonna go ahead and test this. This is a little bit rugged and uh, it has a little bit of wear to it, but we're gonna go ahead and test it to see what this can do to it. But again, I'm thinking you're gonna get the similar results. I'm just not seeing it. This is actually much thicker than, a, uh, than our uh, spear shaft, so obviously there's more mass to go through, and it's just not. This wood is actually probably a little bit uh, harder as you can see it didn't go in as deep we're gonna go ahead and see if we can chop it with the wood grain and see if we can split it but I don't think that's that's probably the best option we're gonna have at uh, getting through it but I don't know how far or what kind of damage that will do so we'll go ahead and try that actually that was a fairly light hit right there and it did actually split the wood uh, significantly deep we'll go ahead and give it one more shot and I barely even tap that. So with the wood grain, obviously, you're going to increase your odds. So yeah, obviously you could probably split this if you get it with a direct hit. I just don't want to damage this uh, tool here. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and show you the damage. I'm bringing it over here to the blacktop so that way it can focus but uh, you have a chop right there and uh, that one wasn't too bad this one split down here and then we had another one that went about three to four inches down the thing obviously you could probably split the whole thing if you get it right on 
I don't want to damage the tool, so um, you know we're not gonna you know go full force into it and miss and then hit our nice uh, table over there. But uh, yeah, you can definitely split the axe if you go all the way down. But that's why the wood is designed is to not go with the green. So that way, if you're hitting it with any kind of type of strikes, you're gonna do less damage going against the green than with the green. Obviously, we tested this before in other episodes. Um, but yeah, going against the green, you're just not going to be able to cut it. Okay, so we have our spear shaft here, and this is the big quickie uh, mop pole that we got. Uh, it's the cheapest wood I can find, so if we're going to do any amount of damage uh, to it or be able to chop through it, it's going to be this. This is the one that we attach our uh, sock spear knife to, and uh, I'm willing to risk, you know, five bucks. I'll buy a new one if we have to. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can chop through this. This is not historical at all. Real Spears would not be using this kind of crap. But if there's anything that's going to go through it, it's going to be probably this, just because it's like the cheapest wood. But uh, I don't even know if we're going to be able to get through that, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. <coughs> so there was our strike. It went a good way here. It went about half an inch into this. And then the energy just traveled up the shaft uh, and kind of split the wood. Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish this thing off and uh, test it some more. Okay, so it did go through the clean, big, quickie. Uh, obviously, this is not historical. And this is very, very cheap wood. Uh, yeah, it's like five bucks at your local hardware store, and it did go through it. Uh, the force kind of just traveled up and split the wood and then created that. But uh, we can go ahead and saw this off and make like a little uh, kind of hand spear or do something with it. We also can use a sog knife for something else in the future. Basically, what I was trying to say is that they can break, but it doesn't make them inferior. Um, anything can break in a war situation, so uh, yeah. I don't think that because they're made out of wood that that makes them inferior. Yes, they can break, but so can your sword and your armor as well. So uh, it definitely depends on the battle, but I don't think that makes it inferior. And you're not just going to chop it like in video games where you just chop right through the, the spear, the axe. It's just not going to happen. So uh, that's just what I wanted to point out. We do other stuff on the channel. We do tech videos, video gaming. Food Fridays, all that kind of stuff. So if you like that kind of content, please make sure to subscribe and uh, make sure you get in on the content. Make sure you subscribe so that you can see this tested against our Ming skulls. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe because we're going to keep making videos. And if you have suggestions on things that you'd like to be tested, just let us know in the comments below and we can do that for you and try to accommodate you if uh, the price is right. So uh, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.